Hi everyone, Mike Brown back again. Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Photoshop CS6 course. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at filters and blend modes. Kind of they work hand in hand. You apply a filter in a separate layer and you blend it to see what another effect is. You're creating and experimenting here in most cases. Now there are filters that we use for specific purposes and there are artistic filters. In this lesson, primarily we're looking at the artistic filters and blends and see what we can come up with. I don't even know what's going to look like when I get started. We'll find out as we go along. So we're going to take a fun tour of what's the filter menu and look at many of the available filters and let's start right off the bat under the filter menu in this section under filters and as we've gone through the course we've looked at the lens correction filter both in camera raw and here let me bring up um, I could bring up this image filter lens correction you remember how this one works very simple you can work on geometric distortion chromatic aberration and vignettes with your lens and it has your camera pro lens profiles and camera make and so on we've dealt with that the same module is in here as in Camera Raw. Liquify filter, you're already familiar with that. Trim, shape, open eyes, bulge, pinch. Vanishing point filter, very cool. The vanishing point filter allows you to retouch or composite in perspective. We've looked at all three of those. We've also looked at the blur filters. We've looked separately at the sharpening filters, including the high pass filter for my favorite sharpening method. And all of these other filters are pretty much grouped together with the exception of a couple of them under the filter gallery. So let's pull up this image and take a quick tour of the filter gallery. First of all, when you're working with filters, they are going to set an effect the pixels of the layer you're working on in your image. So the best thing to do, we always duplicate our background layer. Since I'm going to apply filters to this layer, I'm going to do it again. And I will title this layer Filter Layer. Because once we hit them, they're into the pixels. There is a way in Photoshop to avoid that, but we're not going to deal with it in this particular course. It's more for the advanced course. But right now, you will be applying it to this layer. And we can blend it with the original layer, adjust opacity to come up with muted or different effects. So let's go back. And we're going to take a look now at the filter gallery. Up it comes. Here's your filter. And I'm going to get rid of that one. It always opens up to the last used filter. I'll close these up and show you what we've got here. There's your document space. Here are categories of which the filters have been grouped under. Open up the triangle. There's the particular filters under the artistic with little thumbnails to show you generally what it looks like. You just click. There's plastic wrap. There are your controls for the plastic wrap. Highlight strength, in this case, zero to whatever you want. Let's zoom it up a little bit so you can see it. We get more detail less detail to give you the look that you want, smoothness or jaggedness. You have these controls. Now you have a layer. You can turn it off and turn it on. The reason for that is we can build up multiple filters right here. If I want a second filter, I simply click right here, New Effect Layer. Now it's showing plastic wrap, but that's only the last used one. Let's turn off that, close this up, and take a look at artistic brush strokes or the sketches are black and white distorts give you glass and things of that sort they all just play with them stop